Yay! All right, so yesterday's wasn't bad. The day before still sucked. Uh, but we're starting to turn over a new leaf, you know? Uh, today our prompt was, or is, kind of unoriginal. It is Skeleton Reaper. And that's not super fun. And as far as I know, skeleton or reapers are often depicted as skeletons. Uh, but my fiancé, my fiancé, gave me an idea that I should use a non-human skeleton. So that's basically what I'm going to do today. I already decided I want it to be a cat because... I love cats. So that's what we're gonna do. I haven't decided on a pose, but I don't want it to be completely boring. So I'm gonna sketch that out and go from there. I think today we're gonna do hatching. And maybe I should do colors. Never mind, I haven't decided. But uh, we're gonna do it. You know? That's my lovely cat's butt. As she makes her new bed on the couch. She doesn't like when I'm loud. Let's start those concept sketches and go from there. Why don't we? So, one of the first ones I thought of is the uh, the pointy back cat, you know, the scary cat, skeleton cat, the arched back cat, you know, so there's that one. Uh, we could also do just a nice regular crouching pose. I think that would be nice. Uh, let's see. What other cat poses are there? I mean, we could do a sleeping cat if we wanted. There'd be nothing wrong with that. She's already wandered off and started complaining to my fiancé. <laughs> oh, cats. We could do... Hmm. Oh, we could just do a grumpy, sort of turned away from a sitting cat. Maybe with his tail wrapped around him. So, I know this one's not the most dynamic pose, but right now it's the pose I like the most. This one feels too typical. This one is super cute, especially considering it would be a skeleton reaper cat. Cute's not exactly what I wanted to go for right now. Um, this one's not bad, but it's more boring than this one, I think. So this is the one we're gonna do. I think we might just use the bottom of this page. We're gonna do it, and it's gonna be good. Just so you know, I am using a reference. I don't just know what a cat's skull looks like off the top of my head. That would be weird. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, not bad. Give me a picture reference and I can kind of draw something. Ooh. Oh, I should draw real life things. Sometimes I forget that I can, you know? So unfortunately, I have drawn this a little high because it's just barely touching the other one. That being said, I simply can't lower the whole thing. I mean, I don't, I don't want to redraw the whole skull. The body looks correct so far. And the arch would be super high like that. I'm looking at another reference and this is correct. It's just too bad that it's touching my other duel. It's not like I love that one, it's just, uh... You know... Inconvenient. Okay, so this is the sketch. I'm very happy with it. And now we're gonna ink it. I've decided fairly randomly that I'm gonna do blue and green. I feel like that's deathy. Um, oh, and uh, probably some black or my glittery dark blue that I've been using. That you can't tell that it's uh, blue too well unless it's thin, but still, that's what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to ink right now. The dry brush strokes actually gave it a nice texture. I'll be honest and say that wasn't entirely intentional, but it does look good. Anyway, that's all. So, so far this looks great. I think we're gonna add, we're gonna add like a basic dark background. Probably just black it out, you know? So I'm about to work on that. But uh, I like it. Thank God. Now if only I could draw something cute that I am really as proud of as this creepy stuff. It's so weird. I seriously don't draw creepy that often. But, um, yeah, obviously I get it a bit, you know. Just to let you know, today I voted. Very important, people. Get out there and vote. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.